This is my great aunt. <laughs> <laughs> a, a reimagination. Uh, this is what I imagine. I, I imagine what my great aunt would be. Um, the first time I saw our family tree, one branch stood out for me because, unlike her eleven siblings, Tan Jin Neo did not marry nor had children, so she stood there by herself. And I felt a little kinship with her because that's going to be me on the family tree too. I'm going to have to bring like a little some. Born in 1920, she was the eighth child out of 12 surviving siblings. My great-grandmother had 17 children, five did not survive. Mm -hmm. um, my grandmother, uh, Tan Chiu Nyo, was the second child, um, and so Chin Nyo is her uh, younger sister. Uh, Tan Sang Ching is my great-grandfather, and Choa Chin Nyo, who you met, that's, uh, those are her parents, um, and so they all lived in, uh, they all live in a land, in, a, in an archipelago that is now known, that is now known since 1945 as the Republic of Indonesia, but at the time it was uh, Dutch East Indies. Um, I found old photos in 2016 in my mom's house that had been open since we left Indonesia in 1983. Um, and then uh, I still I scanned them all in and so that we can zoom in because they were really small and identify the people in the photos. And the following year, my mom and uh, two of her sisters in Canada, we all gathered in, in Sarnia, and, uh, in Sarnia, Canada. And we went through the photos to see, to identify who these people were. And then also go through the family tree um, that my uncle at the, in the UK have uh, been really good about keeping track, keeping up with it. And then, uh, and then when we went to, we got to Chen Niu's story. Um, my aunt recalled her story, which is that Chen Niu saw a man walk by their house every day, and then she got in her head that she was going to marry him. Uh, but my grandfather found that my grandfather was a journalist, and he found out that. The man didn't know who she was, and that he was just this random person who walked by every day. Um, so they 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 just assumed that she was delusional. So they put her in a mental institution. The end. That was one story. Um, and then one. And then uh, the following year, 2018, last year, um, my family had a reunion, and many of the descendants from Tan Samqing and Chua Tin Niu gathered in Jakarta, Indonesia. And since the reunion, we formed this, um, technology is wonderful, mm -hmm. and we formed this, uh, this group, on, this online group uh, on WhatsApp. And so uh, people, so the third and fourth generation um, uh, descendants of, of Tan Samqing are, can, can gather and communicate with each other and we all come from Canada, the US, Indonesia, the UK, and the Netherlands. And there's about 25 of us here. And then we were, you know, some people have photos, so they scanned them all in too, and we were just passing them around. And in trying to identify some of the photos, her name came up. And then, uh, but then it was, but then someone said, oh, that's not her, and we're not supposed to talk about her anyway. Which makes me feel like we're not. <laughs> 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 uh, um, and so in the same group, I, I got the, the document from my great grandmother about my great grandmother's name change. And so I made her art about her in October of 2018. And then, uh, let's see, in, in February, uh, I went to this dance performance. Uh, it's like a ritual dance performance. I'm not really sure what it is. It's uh, Yo He Lee uh, performed this, and actually Francis, Francis Cacciatero, she was. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, oh, awesome. So all the performers were. <laughs> they uh, they performed at this at, at this uh, performance at night, and after that performance, I um, uh, we were invited in, in the, during the performance. We were invited to write down the names of our ancestors. 
And because I had Desmi.bees, I want I wrote down her name and kind of, I just wanted to you know say thank you for letting me make this art about you and you know sort of have a closure. But after the performance, as I was driving home, I got this sort of message or something, and um, mm. and I I knew that I had to make a bird, and that it was going to be about um, Jenio, mm. and that was about it. So mm. I'm uh, I <laughs> I am um, um, materializing this this idea that I had through that um, after that moment. Um, and through some more um, conversations with my mother, my uncles, and even my cousin's daughter, I, I think she's my niece, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, we, I heard another story about my grandmother, and um, so the, yeah. she, she has checked in and out of, she's checked in and out of uh, this mental institution which uh, is Luma Sakit Biwa in Super Forum uh, District in the city of Lalong in eastern Java, and um, which sort of roughly translates to a uh, sick or uh, a hospital for the soul. That's kind of how I'm translating it. Uh, so there are some accounts about her, like that she was a quiet person, she stared out into space, that's something I heard. And that, um, uh, and another story I heard was that the family decided to put her in the hospital um, because when, one day when she was praying, one day when her mother was praying, she uh, went to her mother, grabbed her by the hair, and started beating on her and screaming at her because she wouldn't let her marry the man. So that was another story. Um, and that in the, in, the, in the hospital, she was subjected to shock therapy, mm -hmm. uh, which would probably explain why she was quiet and stared out into space a lot. Um, and, and this other story, too, that uh, I heard was uh, she was an introvert, she was a prolific reader, mm -hmm. uh, and the man that she wanted to marry was actually knew her well and was kind to her, but um, that he was gay. So I I'm not I mean I, I don't know what the what the real story is mm -hmm. um, and even the death uh, the year of her death is questionable she may have either died in 1955 or 1962 depending on whose memory um, is deemed more reliable and I ha I don't know any I have not found anyone who knows where she was buried or if she was buried or where she was cremated or any of that information it's really um, I don't know what is true and what isn't, but I wish healing for her. Hmm. And, and I dedicate this to Tim um, Neal.